This year, we're going to be celebrating a couple of things. First of all, of course, the 4th of July and our independence, but also 30 years of 4th on Flagler. Who couldn't believe it's been 30 years already? Mary, have you been here for the whole 30 years? 28 years. Awesome. 4th on Flagler has been a welcoming has been welcoming visitors to our beautiful waterfront for oh, for 30 years now. Over the years, <clears throat> we've had a variety of entertainment, including, listen to this, squirrels that can water ski, washboard players, and from around the country, and prestigious military bands, such as this year's uh, an Air National Guard Band of the South. It's surely been a lot of fun to be back here and to look back at all of the cool events that we've had to celebrate fourth, our 4th of July and 4th on Flagler. What else has changed over the years? Well, back then, uh, we didn't have smartphones, whereas today we are ready to capture life from the palm of your hand and take care, take selfies and the beautiful fireworks as a backdrop. Back then, graphic designers had to painstakingly paint forth on Flagler signs by hand. Now the computer can zip out an event schedule and banners in no time. So back then, 20 minutes of fireworks had a shot were, were just um, <clears throat> shot by hand by pyrotechnicians. Today the computer can fire off a show synchronized perfectly to music. In similar fashion, we've grown and amped up our show as well. Uh, similar to recent years, visitors will enjoy three stages of music, live music, kids' activities, and big games for all ages, a military honor ceremony, and a phenomenal fireworks display. Additionally, as part of the city's overall Summer in Paradise, SIP campaign, which launched earlier this year, earlier in June, in partnership with Habitat for Humanity of Palm Beach County. Um, the smallest of waterfront visitors can also be encouraged to be our guest and participate in free imaginative play at the Fairy Tale Playhouses. This certainly is an event for the entire family. But given the rich history of Fourth of July, fourth on Flagler, and the milestone 30th anniversary, we made sure to infuse nostalgia into this year's show. Part of these special, special touches includes a personal, a personal watercraft show and a, a nod to water, um, water ski shows from way back in the first fourth on Flagler. I guess on the first fourth on Flagler, we used to have water ski shows that went on uh, during our celebration. And now we're coming back. And though we don't have water skis, we have jet skis. Um, but this is a nod to the past. And much more impressive and elaborate than our early years, the Jet Ride Watercraft Show will feature some of the world's top uh, watercraft athletes performing impressive stunts and maneuvers. You saw some of them out here a little bit ago. As you saw, um, Chris Agnieszki, I think that's how you say the name, aka Any Jetski, who has 10 years of experience as current pro of the U.S. Coast champion and top five in the world uh, personal watercraft in honor of the 4th of July 30th anniversary. So Chris will be back. Um, so I want to um, thank Commissioner Paula Ryan who's here with us today, Commissioner Ryan. Uh, this is Commissioner Ryan's uh, district and she's also the president of the commission. Um, and I also want to um, thank all of you who volunteered here uh, by uh, hope, helping us on our personal watercraft vehicle uh, and uh, to signify this special occasion. We've had a lot of people who are riding the jet skis. Some of them are people who work in the city. There's some business people who joined us on the jet skis, and I want to particularly thank them for taking the plunge and being a part of this. And I want to also um, say that Re I want to thank Reggie D. from X102.3, uh, Sergio Pedra from Discover Palm Beaches, Josh Daniels from Habitat for Humanity, the Chick-fil-A team, Rhythm and Hughes, and WPB Magazine. They were all on jet skis. Uh, we so appreciate your support.
And here to tell us a little bit more about what we can expect this morning at 4th and Flagler is Ryan O'Meara uh, from Jet Ride. Now, Ryan, you already spent a little time telling us about the great events that are happening. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more? Of course. So Jet Ride is going to be here on 4th on Flagler. We're going to be giving away a year's free membership to our program. We're also going to be bringing uh, Chris Anazeski, as the mayor mentioned, uh, to do two freestyle shows where he's going to be doing some of the most impressive stuff you've ever seen done on the water. You know, the mayor talked about bringing bringing downtown and this event to the to 2018, and that's what we're doing with Jet Ride and the city. You know, our watercrafts, we unlock them with our phone. You get out on the water, and it's a hassle-free experience. We're very proud to be a part of this 30th anniversary Fourth on Flagler. Again, everybody come down to the waterfront, enjoy the shows, and uh, see what all the waterfront has to offer. Thank you. Thank you. Mary, what time does it start on the 4th of July? Okay, it starts at 5 o'clock. We hope you're all here to celebrate our 30th anniversary of Fourth on Flagler and to see the amazing jet ski performance that's going to be here um, to remind us of what it used to be like uh, back then, 30 years ago. Uh, any questions? I want to thank Mary Pinnock and her staff for the great job they do every day, keeping our city busy and having fun and um, putting on hundreds of events every year. Mary, thank you for the great job that you do. Yeah, let's give her a round of applause. And thank you all for being here. Thank you.